Hey, it's Deanna from Futures Pass, and today I'm going to show you something I found um, at a Goodwill, and um, it's quite interesting. I don't know historically what I'm looking at here. If anyone knows, um, anyone who's in the military or is a military veteran or knows military history, I would greatly appreciate your uh, comments below on what I have. This appears to be an uh, Art Deco style photo album. Could be uh, post 1940s though, in the style of Art Deco, but it's like a celluloid type of material and it's hard bound and it says photographs. And yeah, so inside I found um, Japanese uh, negatives that were unprocessed and loose photographs and the coolest thing is this so i don't know if this is after world war ii or um if this is during world war ii but apparently it's some u.s servicemen in japan and i apologize in advance this video is going to be a long time because there are so many photos there's probably at least a hundred in here I don't know who these servicemen are. I don't know anything historically about this. It says for Tokyo. I see something in the background. Appears to be Osaka. A lot of this takes place in Osaka. I don't know um, how to find any of these servicemen, see if any of them are surviving. And, uh, I don't have an Ancestry.com account. I can't afford it. Well, not that I'm, you know, trying to be like stupid or anything, but I don't want to pay for it. So if anyone has an Ancestry.com account, can look these people up for me. That would be awesome. I'd like to know who these people are and what I'm looking at here, historically. It says Sergeant Steck. I'd like to know what happened to these servicemen, how their lives were. Appears, uh, the photographs in the book, in, in them, it appears that they had a good relationship with the Japanese people. They seem to get along. The Japanese openly um, posed for them. So this is probably after World War II, after the Hiroshima, Hiroshima bomb had landed. Maybe this is post-World uh, War II with Japan. I mean, there's loads of photographs. There's uh, Japanese ladies in their kimonos. They show um, the localities in Japan and the population. They're showing you their places of worship. Looks like this is some kind of Japanese gambling. I think those are some kind of, almost like uh, slot machines for the Japanese. So that might be a Japanese casino. Osaka Toll Gals, I don't know what that is. Looks like some kind of uh, phone system. So I apologize, like I said in advance, this is gonna be quite some time. I don't know what this is about. Looks pretty cool. Some guys making something. Looks like some kind of, almost like early anime. Wow. I didn't even notice this before. I mean, I looked at these pictures, but some guy's making some kind of little models, miniature models of some sort. Wow. Look at that. There's a pinup girl. Looks like army barracks or some kind of military barracks. I don't know what that's all about. Hang on, let me. It says training. So it's some kind of military training. Let me. It's very hard to take videos of 
black and white photos. Now this looks like it says here Osaka Views. Very cool. Sorry for the beeps in the background. I have teenagers and all their little gadgets keep going off. I don't know significantly what um, these buildings portray. I mean, the cars look very old. They look like Packard type of late 30s, early 40s cars. If anyone can read Japanese, you can tell me what some of the street signs say. Here's more Osaka views. It's saying uh, Lightning Boulevard, Osaka. I don't know what that historically can mean. Wow, Japan's a beautiful place. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. I wonder if those are cherry blossom trees or Japanese maples. This is just absolutely phenomenal. Look at that old car. Let me try to get a tight close up there. So I wonder if this is post-war and uh, this is, you know, some kind of GI's uh, almost like, you know, his adventures. Osaka Toll Building. Oh, just, just absolutely wow. And this just, this is the gift that keeps on giving this book. Looks like uh, they're at the barracks. Osaka, I don't know, castle? Did he spell castle wrong? Oh no, unlike the uh, spelling police. Era Temple. And there's more. Satch and Friends. Don't know who these people are. Just absolutely amazing detail of these photos. Whoever took these photos, this GI, was an ama amazing photographer. I mean, look at these uh, photos. I mean, he had a gift. I mean, really artistic. And I'm telling you, this book keeps on going. Panama Hotel, Hotel Panama. Ernie Pyle, I don't know what it, what this is. I'm thinking after World War II. Maybe it was even during the Korean War. And this was, um, they were had a base over in Japan or something. This is just 
absolutely amazing. Look at these ones. Gives you some kind of like neon lights at night. Seiko. I think they made a bunch of like watches and electronics. Look at that. These were like neon lights at night. Japan must have been some place. I mean, it is some place. Mayhi. Looks like a beer, a beer ad lit up. A honey bucket brigade. I guess that means latrines. Maybe. They Oh God, I think that's the latrines. They're probably cleaning out things that are unmentionable. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely, that's funny. Yeah, so I guess the Honey Bucket Brigade, maybe they had villagers come to clean out the servicemen's uh, latrines. Oh, God. I guess somebody had a dirty duty. Somebody had poop duty. Advil. Japanese hearse. I guess he meant to say hearse. Hearse. They spelled it wrong. Hearse. Her <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm the spelling police again. Sorry. And so this book seems to end here. But, like I said, I'm like one of those infamous. But wait, there's more. And there actually is way, way more. As you can see here. Um, I'll do that in a separate video because already this video is over 12 minutes. So uh, if anyone knows historically, the historical significance of this, is this the Korean War? Is this uh, post-World War II? Is this actually right around the time? I don't know. Please put it in the comments, I'd love to know. And if anyone can do an ancestry lookup on any one of these uh, people, that would be wonderful. Please place it in the comments below, that would help me immensely. And once again, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Have a great evening.